Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're going to be going over how to calculate options trading profit. In this video, you're going to learn the difference between in the money versus out of the money. You're going to learn how to find the intrinsic value of an options contract. You're going to also learn how to find the extrinsic value and what factors are contributing to it. You should have a pretty decent understanding of the break even when we're done as well as how to calculate profits. And, and of course, I'm gonna teach you how to calculate profits, but after I teach you how to do it, be sure to stick around to the end, because for those of you that don't really care, I'm gonna show you the tools that will do it for you. All right, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Take a moment to read this, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna move on. You know, pause the video if you need to though. Real quick, I want to take a moment to let you know if you have not already taken advantage of it, when you sign up using my link, in, instead of their regular offer of seven free fractional shares valued at a total of $35 when you sign up and make a deposit, it is now 10 free fractional shares when you sign up using my link down below in the description for a total of $50 of fractional shares with a minimum deposit of $100. Sign up using that link open the account, deposit $100, and that is going to be the easiest 50% return that you'll probably earn in your life. Now going on, let's talk about the difference between the in the money versus out of the money. So out of the money, out of the value has no intrinsic value. Out of the money is the less favorable side of the trade because it's usually worth less. Looking at this image right here, the out of the money contracts are going to be right here this is the stock that price is trading at this is considered to be at the money which as you can see right here is same as the stock price and then all these that are on the favorable side of the contract because we are looking at calls which which profit as the price of the share goes up everything that is below this is considered in the money so looking at in the money in the money has intrinsic value it's the more favorable side of the trade and it's worth more. Taking a look at it, if we take a look at this strike price right here, which is the 230 strike price, this one is trading at 740 and it is out of the money and has no intrinsic value because the stock isn't even at 230. Whereas this 227.5 is in the money, it has intrinsic value because the stock price is higher than that and it's on the favorable side. Notice right here, the price of this contract is $7.40 per share or $7.40 for the whole contract. Whereas the one that's in the money is $8.55 per share or $8.55 for the whole contract. All right, moving on. Let's talk a little bit more about intrinsic value. Every cent past the strike price is going to be intrinsic value. So for example, looking at the 182.50 strike, it has $148 of intrinsic value because it is $1.48 in the money. So taking a look at it, you can see right here that 182.50, if the stock was trading at 182.50, it would be at the money. It is $1.48 about that. Since a contract represents 100 shares of stock, you multiply 148 by 100, and that gives you $148 of intrinsic value. Now, when it comes to extrinsic value, there are a lot of factors that contribute to extrinsic value. And honestly, when it comes to extrinsic value, they make the math for trading options way too difficult to calculate on your own, which is exactly why you want to make sure you stay till the end and you see the tools that are going to help you calculate this on your own. But just so you're familiar with them, the factors contributing to extrinsic value are going to be theta, which is the value of time. You can see that right here. Delta, the rate of change. You see it right here. Gamma is also the rate of change, but it's a little different from delta. Vega, which is the implied volatility, and Rho, which is the price in relation to interest rates. Now, this is more pertaining to me and the way I trade, but if you are swinging trades, 
theta and delta are going to be the most important for swing trades, but that is more of a topic for another video. So if you're interested in seeing content over that in the future, be sure to subscribe. Going on, break even is the most relevant at expiration. Break even kind of only applies to expiration because for instance, you can see right here, the break even is going to be 163. But if this stock is at 163.53 right now, this is going to have much more value than it does right now because it's only at 184. It's below break even. But because of all the extrinsic value, it still has value. And one thing to know about break even, this, the break even is going to be the equivalent of the strike price plus the price you paid for it. So looking at it right here, the price of the contract is going for 405. If you add that to 182.50, uh, that's gonna be 186.55. And then a little extra three cents right there, that's because of the cost for the contract. So going on, so now what you probably clicked on this video for, how to calculate options trading profits. Honestly, it's a pretty simple formula. If you take the current contract price, subtract the price you paid for it, you have your total profit. So taking a look at it, let's say you paid $10.08 per share for a total of $1,000.08. Now the contract is trading for $1,348. If you subtract $1,348 minus the price you paid for it, you get $340. And, and that's how you calculate the profit. And, and honestly, it's as simple as that. Now that's how you calculate the profit currently, usually in whatever platform you're trading in or looking at. It's actually done for you as you can see right here. You can see the return on the day. This is Robinhood and you can see the total return. And, and when I was talking about some of the tools that you can use to do it for you, if you wanna project and see, hey, what would it be on this day if it were at this price and all that, there's actually a tool you notice on this screen right here it says simulate my returns and we'll take a look at that on the next slide right here on this slide this is kind of more of a visual breakdown of the robin hood trade simulator but that's going to be one of the tools you can use there also there's an options profit calculator that has a similar function but also gets a little bit more advanced if you're interested in seeing those more in depth i'll, I'll have both of those videos linked down below in the description but for now, let's look at how this simulator works. So what you're going to want to do is click right here where it says simulate my returns. It's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. And actually, there's a slider down here where you can adjust the simulated price. And then you can also slide and move across this in order to see what it would be on a certain date. You'll notice right here, the more time you have, the higher the value is just because of all that extrinsic value. And as time runs out, the value of the contract decreases. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And once again, if you're interested in seeing the videos for those profit calculators, be sure to click on one of these videos right here. And, and last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Mayo signing off. And I want to change your life.